what have we got here? It's a Celestron C6N. This is a six inch Newtonian that's normally bundled with the AVX go-to mount. But the point is you can't normally buy this separately, which makes it a bit interesting. I got it because we were splitting some mounts from the optical tubes at First Light Optics. We put some of these up on the office page. I watched this one sort of dropping in price because it's a reverse auction on the office page and it got down to £85 and I just couldn't resist. So I bought it purely so I can do some comparison videos because I've got a four inch Newtonian and I've got an eight inch. So this will fill the gap in the middle and we can do some sort of side by sides between the three. Also, I've always said that if you can only have one telescope, it should either be a six inch F5 Newtonian if you're on a budget, or if you've got a good budget, a four inch F7 refractor. Now I've got the four inch F7 refractor, and now I've got the budget F5 six inch Newtonian. It's not my first one of these actually, but I've got them both at the same time now. So it'd be good to compare this budget option with the more expensive four inch refractor as well. So bought it for comparison videos, but I just want to run over it because it's quite an interesting telescope. It's exactly the same mirror set as you'd get with the 150 PDS by Skywatcher or the 150P off the same production line, Cinta China. Um, the main differences are the focuser. With the 150 PDS and 150P, you get a two inch focus, which is capable of reaching focus with a DSLR and a coma correct to correct the coma that Newtonians have. This has got a 1.25 inch focuser, but it does have a T thread. So you can unscrew this and attach a T ring. This one's for a Sony E mount. So I could attach that there. Now, if, if Celestron have done that, that means it must reach focus with a camera if they've included a T, a T thread. I don't know if it reaches focus with all cameras, but I remember I've had one of these before years ago. I used to call it the the Halloween um, Newtonium because it's got these celestial orange and like the the sparkly black. This is absolute fingerprint magnet, by the way. This kind of almost piano black. Anyway, let me get that back on there. Let's, let's unscrew that completely. It's gonna be easier to do that, I think. Such fine threads. Come on. There we go. That was easier. Let's get that back on there. That one's a coarser thread, it's easier to manage. So no compression rings or anything fancy like that. You may notice at the back, there's no collimation screws. They're hidden behind this plate. So retake that plate off. These should include tools actually so let me just grab the tools I'll show you this right so yeah we've got the collimation adjustments there and locking screws so you can collimate it this is kind of hidden behind that blanking plate now if you wanted to add like dew control or a dew shield um, I believe the diameter is 82 mil let's have a look down the, the business end what we've got in there see how things are that's looking quite dark in there which is nice and if you can see down there, center dotted for collimation and racking the focuser in and out, it doesn't appear to impinge much or at all into the light path of the primary mirror, which is good to see. That can be a bit of a problem on like the 130 PDS specifically, but there's collimation adjustments on the secondary as well. Very thin looking spider veins old in the secondary the typical cap you can remove there so you can avoid the spider veins and put a bit of solar film over there for viewing the sun and let's get things on so rings and dovetail so you can attach it to an astronomy mount pretty much all astronomy mounts will accept this vixen dovetail let me just verify the diameter now i found my steel ruler so that is about yeah, 182. Yeah, I reckon that's 182. If you wanted to do control, look the front there. Okay, right. When I'm using a Newtonian, I always have it so the focuser 
is opposite the dovetail and the counterweight of an equatorial mount. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. So let's just get this all done up. While I'm doing this up, you can see that it's got a piggyback mount for a camera. So you can piggyback a camera on the back there, like a DSLR or something, if you want to do wide field imaging. Right, okay. So imagine this on an equatorial mount that kind of swings left and right on the RA axis. If you have the focuser opposite the dovetail, which will be in line with the counterweight shaft, no matter where you have the mount, left or right, you can reach the focuser. But imagine if you span that round, one side of the sky would be pointing at the ground, other side of the sky would be pointing up in the air, making it more difficult to reach. So I find any Newtonium up to about a six inch, quite convenient to use on an equatorial mount, as long as you have it in that kind of configuration. So a bit of a tip there. Now, you don't get a big finder with these, you get a quite a small 30 mil six times finder. I think I've probably only got 5% battery left now, so I'm going to hustle. Let's go, go, go. Right, find a stalk. Hopefully the camera's still going. Right, so you get this O-ring. Put that on the little groove for the O-ring there. Make sure this goes in the right way around. What you want, the big groove needs to align up with these screws there. Pull the plunger. Pop it in, get on that groove. There we go. And then you can just, you can align. When we put this on here, you can align it with the main telescope by adjusting these two screws here. So this, so this optic lines up with that optic. That's pretty much all set really. Yeah, and you get an eyepiece as well. Unlike many telescopes when you buy them, they bundle in a couple of not so good eyepieces. They they give you a decent 20 mil plus, or that'll give about 38 times magnification. So 750 mil fo focal length divided by 20. If it was divide, if this was the 10 mil, it'd be 75 times. So 20 mil is going to be off 75, so about 30, 38ish. And put that in there, ready to go. Okay. That was a very quick overview. Hopefully the camera's still running. And uh, yeah, so I want to do some comparison videos. Okay, thanks again to everyone for watching. Big thank you to my patrons, channel members. Hope to see you on the next video. Catch you later.